what is up everybody we been car here and i'm sorry for the wait for all these videos man i've been dealing with a lot of personal stuff like you know <laughs> depression and um sleep deprivation to some extent and other things of that nature but we're gonna get back on this grind you know how we do let's get it and we're gonna do it right after this intro Then you already saw the title in the thumbnail, so you already know what you're discussing. We talking about Aizawa Shota versus All Might, otherwise known as Eraserhead versus All Might. And I know I didn't say <laughs> I didn't say this dude's name All Might. I didn't say his real name because you know <laughs> I kind of forgot it on the low. But anyway, let's get straight into it. Now then, first, I don't think it's going to be as simple as, you know, we all think it is. You know, him just uh, flashing his uh, discount shine guy and calling it a day. Nah, nah, see, we don't do that here. Now, this is All Might, the number one hero. If it was that simple, then freaking Eraserhead would be the number one hero. But nah, nah, I think that All Might would actually surprise him if this was a, like a conflict of some sort. Like, say something happened and um, they just end up scrapping because they had different viewpoints on Midoriya. But let's say they, they go at it, you know, they do their thing, they swing it, you know, they, they really boxing, you know, they're going at it, they really want to kill each other. And like, I thought I was using his little scarf in uh, All Might, you know, being All Might, and you already know what All Might do. So like, you know, he, as, as I was doing a little weaving and, and, and dodging and countering and such, obviously it's barely even hurting All Might until I thought I was using his quirk. And that's why I think things get really, really interesting. As I saw was using his quirk for long terms, his, he starts to get dry eye, and then you'll see this really nifty little interesting scene where All Might is going in and out of his buff form, like literally like constantly, where one minute he's scrawning and punching, next minute there's a wave of destruction next by, next minute he's not, next minute he's getting duffed by fucking Aizawa, you feel me? And I think this fight will be really like very interesting to see because it's a different take on just the whole status quo of, you know, the Batman of the universe per se and the Superman of the universe per se they're just really really going at it and like it's different because I saw it basically he's every single person in the universe is kryptonite on deck bro all he has to do is look at him and not blink so it's going to be a very interesting dynamic of them two fighting because I saw his eyes are giving way and so is freaking all my abilities to stay buff for a long period of time only being eight hours if I do remember correctly so this fight would actually drag on for a minute until it's like it's just like a semi reminiscent scene of when naruto and sasuke just did not want to stop hitting each other and they're both like exhausted i think it's gonna be like that also bt btw i don't really don't want fucking i would ever cut his hair away because he really is my inspiration for hair growth let's be real I just this man has goals for me <laughs> i mean he just speaks to me in so many levels and he just his, his attire and fighting style but anyway i'm rambling but yeah that's the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it it's a little bit short i think but you know like and subscribe do all the good stuff and i'll see y'all in the next video and peace out it's been nice real nice